Hello there, you are welcome to another episode of To The Point Code. In this episode, we will look at how to set up an Expo account and integrate it into our Expo React Native development workflow. Doing this will make it easier for you to run your Expo React Native applications and also access other Expo services such as building your application for production, among others. So let's start rolling. Now, if you haven't created an Expo React Native application before, I would suggest that you watch this video to set up Expo and React Native development on your PC. I will link it up here and also in the description below. So the first thing we have to do is install Expo CLI if you haven't done so already. We can install it using npm or yarn. Once we've done that, we head to the browser to create an Expo account. So in the browser, we head to Expo.io. Now we provide an email, username and password. Now once you've created the account successfully, we go back to the command line to log in. So we enter the details of the account we just created. we see that we have been successfully logged in. To also make sure of a successful login, we can check again using Expo Who Am I. Now once we've seen that, let's log in on our client application as well. Now once we've done that, let's go ahead to demonstrate one benefit with a sample project. Now this is a to-do app that I created in a past video. I'll put the link up here if you want to check it out. So now let's start the project with Expo Start. Now once the projects are started successfully, let's observe something in the client application. Now in the client application, we see that under recently in development, our active project is showing here and we can easily run it without scanning any QR code or anything. 
this will work on an actual device as well. In fact, it works better with an actual mobile device. Our application runs successfully and other expo provided services such as building the application into an APK and also uploading the application to other application stores can be done easily because of the expo account. By application stores, I mean the App Store and also Google Play Store. We will see how to do that in future episodes. So that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. Also please leave a comment in the comment section below. You can say anything at all. And I'll see you in the next episode.